All right. So uh, we're going to talk about Guild Wars 3. Guild Wars 3, because apparently something was leaked or something came out that it might be coming out or whatever. And I'm here to tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, I don't want the game. No. I don't, I don't want it. Right. Don't even bother. Okay. I went through this with Guild Wars 1 when Guild Wars 2 was coming out. I'm not going through that anxiety again. Right. Not to mention, I don't think it's necessary, to be perfectly honest, that we actually have a Guild Wars 3. It would seem that with their... The, the way that they are doing their, um... Uh, their expansions is that, you know, they've got a lot of, like, you know, a lot of story to tell and a lot of, of the world to still explore, right? And, uh... I'm not, I'm not going through that all again, man. Right? Like, we just, you know, in the last year or so, we've had, like, all the, you know, graphical enhancements added to the game, right? They've changed the way that they're doing, like I said, with their expansions, that sort of thing. I'm not, I'm not, nah, I'm not doing that, man. Right? I just, this game has still so much life left. Like, there is so much content to do, still, especially for me, right? Because I'm just casual, right? I'm just a casual MMO player, right? But for me, you know, I, I no way. I'm not going through that again, right? I remember it was Guild Wars one, right? And they announced Guild Wars two, and I'm like, nah, I'm not interested, man. Right? This game has still got tons, tons I want to do. Why can't you just make an expansion? And that's because they wanted to create an MMO which allowed you to actually jump, you know. Uh, didn't have invisible walls, that kind of thing, and um, and so here we are, right? But um, the reality is though that uh, it ended up being really great, and there's tons of content. There's still tons of content coming out, and uh, you know, well, we just, uh, I just, I, I don't know. I just, when I saw that man when they're talking about Guild Wars Three, I'm just like, oh no. Don't do that. Like, if you've seen what happens with, like, Smite 2, you're right, and the way that that's all playing out, you know, and the transferring of all the, you know, or not transferring, if you will, of uh, all the outfits or the skins that you've actually bought, not all of them are actually going to go over. I just, like, I don't think it's necessary, right, for them to bring out, bring out a GW3, okay? This game still looks amazing, it still holds up against most other MMOs, if not all other MMOs to this day. Okay, we've got a gigantic world still there for us to run around in and explore. There's people constantly doing events, like, all the time. Okay, like, it is not a dead game, we don't need it, we don't need that. But what you do, if you bring out GW3, you're gonna fracture the community between the GW2 players and the GW3 players. Right, and there's still a lot of people that still play GW1, right? But the good thing with GW1 is the fact that it is a very vastly different gaming experience. It handles a lot differently, it shares the same world. Hell, it was the one that started it. But reality is, though, is that, you know, it does play very different to the first, okay? And so, therefore, it makes it a lot easier. Jeez, look at the size of that bugger, right? It does make it a lot, um, it does make it a lot sort of easier to come over from GW1 to number 2 because you can play them both, you can, I can still play Girl Wars 1, right? I can still play it, right, and I'm like, yeah, this is awesome, I don't feel like I'm doubling up my time by playing Girl Wars 1 and Girl Wars, Girl Wars 2. Now, if you bring out Girl Wars 3, it's obviously going to play like this, right? So therefore, like, are we just going to have, like, essentially, like, two of the same MMO? It's not like they're going to shut down Guild Wars 2 unless they actually did what they did with Overwatch and made it so that, like, when Overwatch 2 came out, then you actually got, um, uh, you know, like, when Overwatch 2 came out, all everyone that had Overwatch 1, you transferred over, and Overwatch 1 technically doesn't exist anymore which I don't know if that's a good thing or not right but the reality is that I, I, I think it'd be bad I think it'd be really bad right now if you look at Arcage and Arcage 2 
right? Apparently Arc Age 2 is coming out. Now, that seems okay, but it seems like they're going with a more action-based MMO. So, if you play, you know, and more, maybe more action-based, kind of like Guild Wars 2, uh, Black Desert Online, that sort of thing. So the reality is, though, with that, is that, you know, could you play Arc Age 1 and Arc Age 2 independently of, of each other if they're vastly handled or handling games? I think you can. We're doing it with Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2. There's a lot of things that people, like myself even, prefer in Guild Wars 1 over Guild Wars 2. But, you know, we have both games and they both work very well together. But Guild Wars 3, well, we're going to end up with another game like this. They're not going to, apart from, like, obviously new graphics, you know, so we're actually going to get, you know, they probably might. I I'm assuming they're still going to use their own proprietary engine. Right? I'm assuming that's going to be the case. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I I don't think it's going to be a good idea. I'm hoping it was just a, a flub. Why? <laughs> I really, really don't want Guild Wars 3. I just think there's way too much we still have left for this game way too much investment for a lot of people and if we end up just basically having the same sort of game but just prettier graphics then all the money that we've all spent all the outfits i mean unless unless that looks so badass you have like seriously guys like by the way guild wars 2 you can play free all right so uh definitely jump in and try it out because damn that looks damn that looks so cool man anyway so what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think um, when you heard the announcement or the possibility of an announcement of Guild Wars 3. I know they floated the idea, give or take, not them themselves personally, but we've just heard rumours here and there of uh, GW3. What do you think? I just, I, I don't think we need it, to be honest. I don't think we need it, like, at all. So, anyway guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think. Catch you guys next time. See ya. Oh, oh, oh.